Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So we are ready to start the fun. We are gonna be generating uh, all the keys and the artifacts that we will need for our stake pool. And just uh, to show you, this is the command that we will be using for actually generating the registration certificate, which is like our goal, uh, create a registration certificate and then submit it to the chain. And as you can see, it will require a lot of inputs. So let's start creating all those things that we will need slowly, but steadily. But this is like, I'm mentioning this just like for setting the goal. And uh, as we said before, uh, we will be using preview TaskNet, but, and since we are going to be using this as an example, as an exercise, as a real practice, let me try to actually use my ergat machine to actually start generating all those artifacts. So make it like if it was on mainnet, make it for real. So I will come to my ergat machine over here and uh, try to uh, start working all those these things together. I will recall this screen and later on edition, I will post it here. So uh, don't worry, you will be seeing everything. Let me just start recording over here. Can minimize this. And as you can see, I have created a small directory over here for my preview pool artifacts. And the first thing that I will need to create is my payment address, my uh, and for that payment keys and stake keys. So uh, you can use the things that we generated in the first exercise, the first section. But since I want to generate all these exercises for, for like, like if it was for real, let me just generate artifacts again. Just a quick mention, we can use the CLI or we can also have like uh, another method of generating addresses. Of course, which is using Cardano wallet or Cardano address, you can generate I recover your phrase and from there you can derive a lot or an infinite number of addresses. And this is a method that is also very useful. But let me for, for this section, uh, let me just stick with the CLI. At the end of this section, I will uh, generate a video as well showing you how to create uh, this wallet and then how to extract the keys for the address that you want to use as your pledge address or for any address for that matter, but let me just uh, first stick with Cardano CLI because it's way simpler. So let me just start and we will use Cardano CLI and address, we have used this command before and it's keygen and we will produce the verification key file. Let's call it uh, payment.vicky we will generate as well the signing key file. Let's call it payment.skey. And there you go, now we have them. And the same goes for the stake keys. So we use Cardano CLI stake address keygen. And then uh, we go for, again, the verification key file, which is stake dot wiki, then we produce the signing key file, which is the stake dot key. And with that, we are ready to produce our payment address, which is Cardano CLI address build. And we use the payment verification key file. And it was payment dot wiki and then we also use the stake uh, verification key file and it is the stake.wiki and we will use testnet magic too and finally we will produce an output output file which is payment.addr and there you go we have it there nice so with this address, we can actually start uh, requesting funds from the faucet. 
I will not do it right now because, well, typing an address is kind of a, a hard thing. So I will wait until I generate a little bit more articles, uh, artifacts, sorry, to then transfer all those files that I will need to my local machine. And then I just use a simple copy paste to request files from the faucet, okay? So let's move on. And now we are ready to start generating our pool keys. And remember, the cold keys are like the master keys of our, our stake pool. They control everything in our stake pool. So you want them to be really, really, really secure. You produce them here and create a backup, store your backup somewhere that is secure and uh, never lose it. Okay, so let me just uh, generate Cardano CLI node. This is the sub command that we will be using for producing the keys for our stake pool. It's the node sub command. And we use keygen again. It's very similar to what we have did before. We have done before, sorry. And then we will use more or less the same approach as before. We produce the cold verification key file. Let's call it cold.vkey. Then we produce the cold signing and we call it cold.ascii. And with this, we will produce the operational certificate counter. This is a very important artifact. And uh, so let's just generate it and later on we will talk about it. And absurd.counter. Oops, let me just count it. Okay, move, absurd, just to fix it, to fix the name, absurd, counter, counter, absurd.counter, that's great. Now we have it. So, alas, and with that, we are very close to actually have everything we will need for our stake pool, at least initially. We are just about a few things away for, for having everything, which is the cast keys and the verifiable random function keys. Remember that the cast keys are used for signing blocks and the BRF is used for the slot leader election process and for producing the randomness for the chain. So let me just uh, keep going with Cardano CLI. Again, the node subcommand with key gen cas, key gen cas, and the same as before. We produce the verification key file, which we will name cas.vkey, and then the signing key file, which we can name cas.skey, and this should be good to go. And then Cardano CLI, finally to produce the VRF keys, Cardano CLI node, uh, keygen BRF and the same as before the verification key file which is vrf.vkey and the signing key file which is vrf.ascii nice so we have produced all the artifacts that we will require for then uh, producing uh, the certificates and the things that we will need to actually register our stake pool. So from here, I want to actually copy some of these things to a real server that I have uh, created here. And uh, that, will, that will be my block producing node. And uh, let me just use a clean USB drive to copy my files and then bring that to my machine, my local machine here and upload them to my server. Let me just send all of this to my USB drive, which is um, mm, 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 media. So there you go. Now I can bring this 
to my machine over here. Well, I should be able to CD and CD. I think it's volumes. Volumes, CLR, perhaps just quick LS over there. And those are the things that I wanted. Nice. So now I can use uh, this is my relay and this is my block producing node. So I have created a couple of servers and I have uh, already installed Cardano node 135.6 here. And well, I have produced a few things over here. I have this uh, configuration folder where I have my configuration files. I have this socket where is the place where the node socket will live. And finally, I have produced a startup script that we will review later. I am already synchronizing this uh, chain so that when it comes the time, it is easier to just launch it as a block producer node. But now it's time for me to create a directory for my keys, for my signing keys. And uh, so now I can come to my local machine and use secure copy to uh, upload my VRF signing key to my server. And the same goes for the key evolving signature. And if I do ls keys, they should be there. Nice. So we have two of the three artifacts that we will need for having our node running as a block producer. The thing that we are missing is the operational certificate, which we will produce uh, in a few minutes. And that will be part of the next video. So see you there. Stay with me.